So I'll give you a rundown of the Red Newer uh, panel. It's um, Ellie O'Connell, Niamh Dial Mar, Cleena Holohan, Kira Summers, Mary Gregory, Kayla Reddy, Laura Summers, Evine Byrne, Emer Foley, Jessica Mooney, Lara Morrissey, Tara Morrissey, Sophie Morrissey, Jane Kennedy, Quiva Doran, Roisin Murphy, Ella Barron. And the team management are Lisa O'Connell, Liam Dunn and Kelly O'Connell. We're on. Okay, but we the road is again throws the ball in. Heavy toss around midfield straight away, but first ball. A uh, bit of a trick there, but uh three down to Ratner. And that was Aileen Byrne on the ball. So uh Ratner playing down the hill in the first half, this free to be taken by the team captain Lena Hulahan in to uh, see can she get a bit of distance. She does. Girl lobs in into the forward line, Jessica Mooney is on to it. Lara Mercy has it, Lara Mercy turns, takes a few steps. Back after it again. A bit of a puzzle there at the early stages of this match, but picked up by uh, Jessica. Jessica out. Avian down into the corner, but the uh, referee's there at the end. Heavy packing going on in there beside Lara uh, and out the ball. Home. So we have Lara Summers. Lara Summers. And Avian got it. It's a, it's a hectic game. Uh, we're only two minutes into it, but the uh, action at the minute is uh, ferocious. Right now we're on the ball most of the time, and uh, it's picked up by Ian Foley. Ian Foley onto her left hand, well blocked by the Rabs girl. So comes back out again. And that's Mary Gregory. Mary Gregory into the corner. Uh, well pulled on by Tara Morrissey, straight across the square. Oh, Laura is in for that. Lara puts in another tackle. Mary Jessica in over the ball. And also in there is Sophie Morrissey. Now we do have to have a scrum, rest of it doesn't come out. But uh, up in the air. The ball comes out. Ema, Ema has the ball. Ema pass it out. Pass it out. To Avine. Avine hits the ball. And really a ball but not great. But great pressure from the back of the ball. So back out to midfield. Midfield cleaner. And Herder, number five, good looking, Sean Herder, on the ground, he slips, tackled by two right now, but Tina, out in front, he has to make a tap on the ankles for a second there, but Avian is in, nearly, nudged in the back, Kayla has it, strong, strike on the ball, right across the square, go to fall down in, in forward for Sophie, Sophie is in, in, keep from the last player under pressure, ball coming back out the field, out, and um, is it gone? No, it's uh, Emer Foley has it. So Laura Summers on the left says, uh, it's a line ball on the far side. So great pressure from the Red New girls, and we're only five minutes into the game. No score yet. Lisa encouraging the backs to keep it tight. No pressure on the backs yet, but uh, line ball, far side of the field. Referee's team coached here by the one and only great Wexford legend, Adrian Fenlon. So, line ball for us, taken, short one, picked up. Was it hard to see from this side of the field? A little bit of a trick there on one of the right girls, and uh, I think. So Abin takes this one and uh, oh well locked down. I think that was locked down by Sophie. Across the field. Back again. Sophie has it again. Locked down again. Jessica has it. Jessica shoots and Jessica puts up another bar. Really ended up in up the top of so well done there, Jessica. One point. Freeze in the first.
first half, good look out from the Raps guys, and then uh, down between Neil Doyle and Hart there, Mary Gregory is out, Mary has it, left handed, down the field, uh, picked up on, uh, by Laura, Laura and Emer, Emer has it, Emer has it, gets a lovely ball in, that's a great strike, dangerous ball on the Raps guys, Down well. Uh, after this one is AB in over the ball. Uh, Ratner very strong. Won most of the 50 50 battle so far. So Jessica is in ably hooked there by Eva. Uh, Jessica too. And again. And it's Jessica and, uh, and Laura has her uh, sister Tira playing a cornerback strike today. Very hard to see. The ref is right up against the person. Ball is cleared out here. Uh, just, uh, uh, Gregory. Uh, a bit slippy over there, so he can't bend the ball. That leaves on the attack number 11. Good looking polo. Uh, makes 30 yards with the ball. Well hooked there by Mary Gregory. And uh, now you yeah, have Tina, captain of the team. She's racing after the referees there. Logs it in, trying to go for the loose play. Uh, well blocked and out there by Pearson. Pearson. Taylor, Taylor has it. Down along this side of the field. Who's going to be first to respond here? Oh, good. Great stage. Pick up the three. Well done. Come on, Laura. Major attack from the Raps and uh, you know, snuffed that one out. So two good clearances um, from the girls brought us right back to midfield again. So uh, this ball is about 70 yards out. Uh, wind blowing from right to left. Uh, Taylor ready to take this one. Some of these girls already played in the and were already beaten in the 14 final two weeks ago by just one point in extra time. So it's right from, and this is a dangerous ball going to love all the way in around the ball. That's it by the Raps keeper there and took the ball out of the air, but back onto the ball again. That is that. I'm reliably informed that was Tara Morris who scored that one. So that near three points. That near three points. And, uh, and Damien Morris is watch here, and it's going and stopping, so I think we're about 10 minutes in. Me, Gary Mara, has this one. On a solo and red helmet, down along the left hand side of the field. Uh, all the way out, out then, and is it Sophie tries to put in it there? And block, Taylor is in, uh, has the ball, helped out on the far side there by Mary Gregory. Laps uh, on the attack, Tina blocks it, but the laps go again, number 11, good hurler, goes off a good pass, good pass to number 14, dangerous ball in, one on one inside, one on one inside, but it's Pira somewhere, Pira gets down. Now, Adrian Barton has it. Ben McKinnon, now that's her back. So, very tough back to us. I'm in on the team, Jessica, and her pass. And that's her line, and that's her line, and that's her line. And ball goes out for a line ball, and uh, the line's down here, so that's it, Jess. That's your ball. That's it, Jess. Great here from the two teams so far.
shoulder here, in case the camera moves. My fault. So the referee's centre back will take this from oh, and it's a free on the lane ball. Number four coming out to it is Finn. Goes by, picked up by Mary Gregory on the solo line down the left hand side of the field. Mary Gregory has made about 30 yards of the ball. Hard enough top there by the referee's player, but uh, Jessica is over there along with uh, Emer. Uh, great pressure from the right near girls. Picked up by Mary Gregory. Mary Gregory gets a little nudge in the back, but plays the ball across. Trina takes it down, left handed down along the field. I'm amazed at how much this right near team have improved as I saw him playing two years ago. Tara has it. Boyne, it's the top. Has it. Laura Summers has it. Laura Summers has it. And uh, it's landing in fire. She's in, Emma goes in, makes a tackle. She's hurt there by Jessica, who didn't nearly have her tied up between the two. And it's Jessica has it, she's 40 yards out. She, it won't hurt her, but will now. Now she's making a headway, now she's making a nose. Jessica Mooney turns, strikes, and uh, what an important point, which gives her a uh, four point uh, advantage at this stage. So just to say that this team have uh, this year so far they've played like Water, Davistown, Castletown and uh, they've played out in the semi-final of this competition just a couple of weeks ago. So they have uh, improved beyond the recognition as far as I'm concerned great. Uh, Kayla uh, just down the middle down to Jessica Turner, uh, she's very here on the sideline by Liam Brown, Turner, Jessica, down. Tara has it. Tara Another great ball right across the front of the rap score. Picked up there uh, and uh, it's Laura Summers. Laura left handed inside. Oh, who's it going to fall to? Almost caught there by Sophie. Sophie and Lara, two cousins. They have her three Morrissey's in the full forward line here, two cousins. Uh, and it, Sophie has it. Sophie strikes again. Still there. Sophie gets in the tackle. And uh, landing between Kale and Horsley. Uh, and the turn, they get the power of the star and the solar in, down through the middle. Two right now guys after, get in the hoop, we're done. Ball is uh, blocked down by Mary Gregory. Uh, Kale here and has it. Fairness, the outdoors are playing with a great heart. Now we have it out, and it's Laura Summers across the field. Lovely ball. Laura has it. Ran away from it, she's still there. Inside is Emer. Uh, heavy pressure on the rap. It's out there to Jessica. Jessica. Uh, Jessica was uh, tackled from behind by the rap. So this one in a bit more favourable position. Uh, and who is coming out to take this one? So I think this is Tara. Tara coming out. She's about 35 yards out, about 15 yards to the right of the post as we're looking at it. So um, it's within her range. Let's see what happens. Ah, sure. Super point there. Super point by Tara Morrison. So that's uh, two points for Tara, two points for Jessica, one point from Emer. And five points to no score, but still a goal can turn a match like this in one minute. But not if Neil has anything to do with it. Neil gets the ball down as far as Emer. Emer has the ball. Uh, she's on a solo run. Good speed from Emer onto her left hand. Onto her left hand. And good score. I mean, it's hard to find not one like that. But that's a, that's a good, lovely score from Emer Bowling. Great 
job done in this team by Lisa and Liam and uh, Kayleigh and anyone else. The trainers have been involved. This girl has a good hand that she can get into. She is number 10. She's, uh, she's fast as well, but she's been trailed all the way by Kayla. Kayla did not put her off, but tries to get into number 12. Tina is there, gets in over the ball. That new girl is very, very strong. Uh, and the 50-50 the, the balls, they're coming out with most of the balls so far. And again, uh, heavy pressure there. Mary Gregory is in, gives her a nudge, and Brett says, uh, a bit of a top Anyway, so this will be a dangerous enough ball because uh, the Raps are playing into the wind. And uh, this is their number 10. Number 10 has a good hand. So she's about 45 yards out, and uh, I'm not sure that she'll have the distance, but let's see where she goes with her first attempt. All right, you're two on the goal line, and uh, everyone else marked up, but that looks to be tailing a fair bit to the right. Raps man says it's wide, so the rep says, uh, I don't know, oh, need a water break, is it? Yep, yeah, water break. So at the water break, uh, just to let you know that uh, Radnor, uh, we have uh, two points by Jessica Mooney, two points by Tara Morrissey, and one uh, by Emer Foley. So that at the first water break, then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six points to no score. Okay. Go ahead. Hook out from Radnor, Kayleigh, uh, that I did say Kayleigh, but uh, it's dropped just onto the shot and passed inside. That's where uh, failed to hold on to it. Neve Dalmar gets in. And uh, Avely helped there by Kleena. He nudges it a small bit out. Number 11 picks it up, tries to get it in, but again blocked by Kleena. Out as far as Avine. Avine keeps the ball from going over the sideline. But uh, picked up by the Raps, but the linesman had the flag up on the far side. Uh, whether he meant to or not, I don't know. So a danger woman has the ball. Hits right across the face of the goal, so fine for the Raps. So first attack after the first water break, uh, Raps get a point, so the scoreline is that your six points, Rapparees, one point. So Ellie, fantastic game and goal for the under 14s, uh, but uh, Raps are dead for this one. Jessica Boots Down between him and her player, Raps got a little bit of Still picked up. Kena tries the ball out. Uh, she have to get it again. And she comes out. Good hard shoulder there uh, from Kena. Knocks the box girl off the ball. Now we have Kayla. Kayla down the field. And uh, Kena's off. Uh, bit of a wallop there. But, uh, let's see. It'll be an indirect free to Ratnior anyway when the play resumes. So, uh, in a way, hope clean is okay, but it's a welcome break for a few minutes because Raps are putting on a lot of pressure. And uh, someone gone in with a with medical kit. And that's uh, Liam Dunn gone in there, Lisa's in there. Uh, I'd say Lena, she looks all right. Yeah, she's limping a bit, but. All right. She looks to be okay. She's, she's well used to um, handling sheep and everything. Uh, Kleene is so. A few knocks on a match like this will be nothing, but that will drive her on. So indirect free to Radnor. And Lisa encouraging the ref there for whatever reason, I'm not sure. But the ball is there. I don't know what the ref was going. Anyway, that's a strange decision because. Uh, we had the ball, but this is one we have to clear and get back on the scoreboard because uh, 
as it stands now, Raps are getting a little bit of heart uh, to get into this game, and uh, it's uh, picked up heavy pressure. And again, playing uh, down the field. Drives a lovely ball down. Out to Tara. Tara has the ball. Turns. Right now attacking again. Great ball down the middle. Who's in there? Jessica Mooney has it. Jessica Mooney on the ball and 15 yards out. Jessica Mooney turns. Gives up for a fight again. Fires it in the back of the net. What a goal. What a goal by Jessica Mooney. And that was a score that you were badly needed because. Uh, it's our first score since the water break, so again, far side the field, down with find Neil. Neil gets out, flicks with the left hand, Neil is gone again, strikes it down into the corner, uh, as far as Cara, Cara has it, lovely ball, crossing the square, who's in there, Lara's in there, Lara and her pair have it held up, Raps girls on the ground, heavy pull in there, Sophie has it, top down, gets the ball across, gets all across and the rip says uh, that wasn't the right thing, but perfect hand pass so Amy and enjoy should pick up a bit of coach in there on hand passing. So trying hard every one of the girls. Uh, great performance. And as we look this one is gonna land. Uh, Kale is ahead, scoops the ball ahead. Uh, still after it, still ably assisted there in the middle of the field by Laura, ball on the ground, probably a hot ball at some stage. Hot ball, uh, you're with a good advantage at this stage of uh, 162, uh, 162 point. Midway through the second period of all play, one ball break gone, Neymar Foley has it onto her left hand. Uh, moves out again. Evine is there. Evine at number 10. Number 10 is she's gone ahead. But uh, the Ratmuir girls are after in twos and now in threes. Again, Kayla has it. She has the reach. She got overhead. Lovely ball inside. Inside. And uh, uh, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, uh, I think. I don't know what the ref is doing. He's gone over to talk to one of the Raps girls. Uh, but, uh, uh, some of the some of the, the, the tackles being put in by some of the girls out there and are a little bit um, a little bit robust at times. Talking attack on the block and blocking. So free in to uh, Radnor. Uh, and this, or is it a free out? I'm not sure. It's a free out from 30 yards out. Full back has it, strikes. Good ball down the wing. Uh, and, uh, Mary Gregory in over the ball. Mary Gregory has the ball. Mary Gregory coming out, lo loses the ball, but it's coming in this direction anyway. And here we go again. Passes by Mary all the way. Tries to get in. Number 10 nearly had it. But I think there's about four at Norgars. Out comes Kayla again. Throws the ball up. Uh, falls down. Number 12 nearly had it. Kayla gets in over the ball. Kayla has the ball. Kayla comes out again. Off. Solo. Left, right, and centre. And on comes Jessica. Raise it down the left hand side. Picked up the uh, centre back out to the wing power. But Evie is ahead. Evie has plenty of time to have a look. And she does. Takes a few steps and out to her midfield partner. The midfield partner is Nora. Inside. Good job, Evie. And it's very hard. Very solo and true. 
hand passes out. And for the Tara, Tara Morrissey on the run. Gives it across. Gives it across. Oh, great score. Great score. Foley, but I'm not too sure because the guards here beside me didn't know it. So heavy pressure on again. Mary Gregory, far side of the field. Over in front of the wraps still out. Right now winning uh, a lot of these uh, heavy touches. Raps come away with this one nearly. Not quite. New coach. Number 10 has it. And uh, then out comes Tina. Tina has it. Left hand way down the field. Gonna fall nicely for Emer and there's a three from her the ball landed because uh, as I was saying earlier, um, some of the tackling is a little bit robust at times, which uh, is working to Radnor's advantage and uh, number ten is being spoken to by the referee. Uh, um, but, uh, anyway, free to be taken by Evine on the far side of the field. Uh, we're only about uh, three minutes away from half time. And uh, uh, the girl now is down. Uh, must be what the ref said to her because she was standing while he was talking to her. So the game being slowed down, no harm either because uh, it's been played at a hectic pace. Go for a drink of water. What do you think, Tony? I think so. <laughs> Got a, bro a water break there myself. Badly needed. So, um, with about three or four minutes to go before. Um, the official half time um, the score at the minute is uh, Ratnur 1 7, Rapparees a point. So, the, in fairness to our backs, they have battled, struck everything, everything that came their way, all down on the far side of the field. Sophie is out at the hurt there, uh, gets in a hoop, nudge in the back there, but Mary Gregory is in on the ball. Mary has the ball coming down, and Jim and Tony in the middle of the way. But anyway, uh, Avian, Avian gets a nudge. Uh, Lisa's encouraging him here to, to keep working and uh, the dog strong Mary down the ball, down the wing. Emer had a mad for scores to Brad Norgan. Emer gets the ball in the cross hole but didn't break. Next back to Gerrit comes out with the ball. Well, pulled out, out to midfield. Uh, uh, again, they're breaking the heart of the Raps girls because they won't let him get uh, any yards at all when they get the ball. Oh, played across. Jessica had it. Oh, ran away from it. Still after it. Still after it. Still after it. Good strong pair of shots. Plays football as well. Booted that one out. Still coming after it. Jessica there still coming after it. Still has the number and she dropped it again. Booted this time and uh, free giving away there. And uh, that is great. The uh, scoreline might be a little bit one sided at the minute, but it's a great uh, uh, exhibition of the part and will to win. Back up between uh, me, Doyle, Mar and Hart there. Uh, and just there again. Uh, four foot at me. Out she comes. Uh, lovely ball down. But uh, Aideen is going to have to work hard to get this one. But she's in there. And she's Laura has it. Laura gets it out. She's uh, a very well coached, I have to say. No, and uh, Liam Dunn encourages him to put it in. Tara has it out in front. Tara Morrissey turns. Tara Morrissey turns. Sophie just gone in towards the corner, towards Emer. Uh, 
wrapped full back line under a lot of pressure. Leanne, well, not Leanne, Hamer, same house, one man. That one went wide. Only the third wide of the game for that ball. from about uh, 55 yards out to Radnor and uh, Rabari's number 10 girl going into the book and uh, good hurler but obviously not doing it the way the ref would like her to be doing it and uh, free into Radnor so Evie, no shortage of free takers on this team Evie, 45, 55 yards out in front of the goal bends, lifts, strikes, goes up in the air won't go wide because we have the numbers there to keep it in play out comes Tara Tara again uh, tries to get it across. Get it across. Left handed as well. Uh, oh, well played, Sophie. Well played, uh, Jessica. Mm. Down in the very bottom corner of the field, near where the tricolour is flowing there. And the rap says somebody picked the ball off the ground. Uh, I'm not sure who it was, but at the way the players are moving, it's going to be a free inter uh, About 10 yards in from the sideline on the far side of the field. And uh, this one is going to be taken by, uh, it looks like Tara. It is Tara. That's a great score by Tara Morrison. So the score at this stage is uh, Ratnur 1-9, um, referee is 1-5. Back with the hook out, down between Neve and her pair. Uh, Neve uh, gets the ball back to herself, pokes it out a little bit, still keeps it going. Pick her out there with that uh, red helmet. Uh, Kayla's in very strong over the ball, number 10, strong player as well uh, for the wraps. But, uh, so, ref says uh, we might have a hot ball, which we do. A great performance by these girls today considering that a uh, good few of them played in the under 14 uh, final just uh, two weeks ago we're unlucky to be beaten by one point uh, in extra time and Emo Foley has gone on a solo run uh, in as far as uh, Jessica Mooney has it Jessica Mooney uh, going straight for the goal 30 yards out 25 yards out and passed it in ball lands inside who is it cut by uh, went by Tara no it's over with Lara Lara batting hard she has her player on the ground uh, back with the play again Jessica Mooney being hauled on and the ref says uh, uh, dragging out of her but sure Jessica wouldn't even know she was there she was so hell bent on scoring uh, 21 yards out ball down between uh, Mary and her player Mary gets in a tackle. Now she's helped there by uh, Emer. Emer uh, ref says that was a free, so free into the referees. Uh, just on midfield, straight in front of the referees dugout. And uh, the lads on the sideline say here that uh, half time is well and truly up. Well struck ball, landing 21 yards out. Uh, in front, number 10, danger woman has it. She turns, she strikes strikes the ball uh, across the face of the goal and uh, unfortunately for her that's wide. So as we just go on to uh, half time, the um, score is uh, uh, so it's one, two, three. So I make it that's one nine, uh, one nine to a point. That'd be right. Near enough anyway. Near enough. We're out. So that's right, half time.
Good to go. 4.19. Time. Uh, just on the stroke of the um, second half. Right nearly even 1.9 to a point, but can't take anything for granted. A game like this. Uh, ball lands in. Uh, well blocked down. And uh, on, Taylor. Taylor already running. Horty. Horty. Made almost 50 yards of that ball. Puts it back in the danger area. Uh, in Tara's about to get a tackle in and well done. She has it. Emer has it in. Pass it inside into Tara. Tara has it. Tara gets a high tackle there and another one. Still plays it. Still hits the ball in. Going all the way in. And Sophie is in. Oh, the goalie gets a um, uh, free out there to the Raps. But I thought uh, Tara had earned a free in from a, a tap on the helmet before that. So free to the Raps to be taken by number three. So. Uh, okay. So Sophie was in there, prowling for the goal. This one mightn't go any farther than the half back line, and uh, there it's going to land. And, oh, well caught by, and she got a little nudge under the neck there from Tina. And that was them at the very early stages, I'd expect that to be taken by their um, full back. Laura picks up the loose player there. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there. Come on, come on. Oh, it's got a great class of spare. Again, it's a dangerous spot this way. Ken has it. Mark now, even. Hale and Dino and Paul. Dino has it. Heavily bandaged in. The second half, she got a fair hard knock. Go on, but Kayla! Has it. Go on, Kayla, Kayla Belton! Tries to belt it out. Oh, doesn't fall. Two hands. Maybe the ball is there. Emer has it, one handed. Uh, doesn't come up, they're back in. Unfortunately, don't get away free now. And uh, this ball is uh, from the middle of the field, wind assisted, so this could land in the danger area. This one's going to be taken by number 10. Uh, Raps girl on a, a yellow card. Uh, so let's see what she does with this time. Score at this point is right near 1 9. Uh, referee's a point. So that's 12 points to 1, an 11 point lead. So sun in the eyes now of um, Ellie in the right near goal. So, um, 10 takes some time. He's down over it. Strikes it. Dangerous looking ball. Landed right in the square. Uh, Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Well, oh, Godmead has it. Always on me. Gets it out. Uh, Tina has it. Tina on the left hand. Uh, out towards the sideline. Avin is there. Eamon is there. Eamon gets uh, an unmerciful push in the back. Uh, but uh, you couldn't blame the sun for that ref. Avin uh, has it. Avin has it. Come on, Avin. Come on, that's it. Kick it, kick it. Come on, Red. 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 takes a right few steps of that ball but uh, at this early stage it, it appears uh, that we have to fight a little bit harder for freeze than the wraps and there is a very simple one uh, nudge in the back for um, two minutes ago Eileen Byrne was bundled over the line almost so free into the wraps uh, third attack within, within five minutes of the second half that New York had won now, number three full back, strong player. Uh, about to take this one. Again, Ellie bounces below in the right near goal. Nothing has passed her to date. This one is a dangerous looking one. And uh, it's gone over the bar. Right there for the reps. First score of the second half. So Ellie will get to come to the 21. But this one, let's see where she ends it. Out to the far side of the field. Out. Uh, between Laura and her player. Uh, Jessica has it. Jessica is on the run. It's a good few yards over that one, but she's still going. She's still going. She has uh, Emer on the inside, but goes long into Laura. Oh, uh, Laura. Tara. Uh, Jesus, the right eventually. Tara in on her right hand. Ah, oh, Jenny. That one right across the ball, but again. Uh, Good attack there from Adnor, but uh, that one went a bit wide. But uh, you'd expect a bit of a comeback from the Raps at this stage. Lift it again. 
and Lisa is here telling them to lift it again. So let's see on the puck out, left handed by the goalie, going to land a little bit short. Who can get in front of it? Uh, Aveen, uh, Aveen, uh, number 10 passes. Uh, Kayla Drives the ball in. Tara has it. Falls over the hand. Tara has it again. Turn and go, they say. Uh, dangerous ball in. Sophie's enough for the people. Uh, Sophie took an tackle going out to the sideline. Going to fall to Jessica. Jessica has Tara. She can get it up to her quickly. But uh, Jessica in a hard level battle over there. And that's the kind of a battle Jessica likes and thrives on. Hard. So it's two against two on the far side of the field. And who comes? Tara Morris, he has it. Ball gone, gone ahead of her. Tara tries to get it back. Uh, needs a small little bit of help. But uh, Raps girl has the ball, coming along, and she drops it, boots it down. Boots it down, picked up almost by another. But Aveen Byrne is there. Aveen stays after. Aveen picks back the ball, going through. Aveen Byrne turns. And oh, what a great score. What a great score. Took the ball out of the other guard's pocket. And that's an important score for right now because it settles us down again. So, puck out now from right now. Good, strong puck out from uh, the Raps girl. Sun in everyone's eyes. Runs through number 10 and 11 are ahead this time. We need to get on goal side, and we do. Kayla gets in half block. Down, and who picks it up at the far side? Kira Summer. Kira Summer. Tina. Tina. Almost. Picked up there by Laura Summers. Another ball back in. Tina again. Oh, great long ball. This is going to run. Will it? Tina nearly had it. But, uh, they have it. Come on, girls. Keep at him. Keep at him. They're still at him. The Raps girl has taken quite a few steps there, but out towards the sideline. And uh, EV and her players there. And the ball goes out, and that's the Red New ball. down and the ref says hold on a minute. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Kel already is down. Uh, but the Red Your girls are certainly in the thick of it since the start of the match today and uh, no quarter has or given. <laughs> So it'll be a great boost uh, to the team and the club because uh, having won the under 12 just a couple of weeks ago, only barely beaten in the under 14. And if we could land this one today at an age group where uh, girls are literally uh, a year or two um, away from uh, playing uh, senior, it would be uh, a boost badly needed at this stage. So the ref is going to throw this one in. Everyone picking up a player. Throws it in, picked up, Avian has it, Avian turns on to her right. Uh, and the ref says, yeah, throw the ball. So, dangerous one again, uh, they changed the free taker back to number 10 this time, whereas number 3 had scored the last one, so this one is one probably who, that could be lobbed in, because uh, she didn't have the distance on the last one. Uh, she's getting the distance on this one, and that one's gone over the bar. <laughs> so another point for the reps, and that makes it uh, referees three points, uh, ref no one ten. One ten. So nice to keep the scoreboard uh, ticking over now, could get another one. So, Emer, uh, oh, it's nice. Uh, Emer is backing away in there. Still battling, but Galima and uh, Ina on the side decides to take on and catch it on her. The girl, lovely ball in. Sophie has it. Sophie has it. Sophie shoots. And a uh, wonderful score there. Well done. So, so the girl worked the ball well up the field. And uh, a point there by, by uh, Sophie Morrissey. 
So that was a timely score for Radnor and great ball all the way out of the fence, straight up the middle, out between uh, Kayla. <laughs> Pushes her out of the way. Come on, Jess. Jess. Again. I right, keep fighting, girl. Come on, so Jess. We'll certainly listen to Lisa anyway when she says keep fighting because I, I've uh, it's a real wholehearted display here by the girls and uh, fairness to the referees for keeping the keeping the heavy battle going there as well. There, uh, you're a good bit ahead at this stage and uh, get to this water break and maybe it has it. Try to throw the ball out. Jessica has it. Emer, Emer's ahead, on to the left hand, Emer keeps going, lovely ball in, dangerous ball, Sophie has her, Tara has her, Lara has her, they all have her, still there, Tara pulls, uh, uh, I don't know what happened there, but, uh, maybe Lara, whatever it happened, the ankle, no, check it out after the match, free out. Avine down over the ball. Out and here we go into Laura. Blocks it out. Emer. Emer. Lovely ball in. Well cut by the rap score. Good goal, you know, only for her. Could be in a lot more trouble. Out to Jessica. Jessica has it. Jessica shoots and that looks uh, just gone harmlessly wide. So must be near enough to a water break now. But, So Radnir have stemmed the tide for a minute now just to keep uh, literally just hacking on the scores now. Jessica pulls. Uh, pulls ahead. Lara's ahead. Emer is there. Between the whole lot of them. They hold on to the ball. Again. I see through all these lads here, but I think it's yeah. Jessica on the ball. Uh, so, hot ball again, which is grand, which gives the girl a chance to catch their breath. So, Radnio have pushed well up the field again, which means that uh, we're on the attack. So, we're on the attack, and Avian has it onto her left hand. Uh, ha oh, what a catch by Tara! What a turn by Tara, and what a goal! A goal by Tara! Well, well, well. Great score there by Tara, great hands by uh, Tara. And Kleena hopefully getting her hands on the cup and this is over. Solon up the field. Tara again. Eva. Tara. Tara has it. Tara turns, Tara shoots. But Tara has just 1-1 one, one on the board in the space of a minute and a half. So we're at New Hub. Uh, Back into the game, completely started to dominate when it comes to the scoreboard. Can't fault the referees for, for effort, uh, but uh, when it comes to uh, registering the, the what's on the blackboard, uh, the women from the mountain are certainly doing it today. Anyway, back up with the play, Emer has it. Uh, Emer on a solo, run. onto her right hand, gets it across, over to Sophie. Sophie Morrissey has it! Sophie, uh, the onion bag job again. So, um, So now, Lara 1-1, one, one, Sophie 1-1. One, one, that's it, Nick, that's it, Nick. He's scared there. He's sore. He's sore. He's sore. straight in front of the stand here. Good crowd in here today to watch this match played in a great old spirit. Kayleigh's checking the scores here. If you can't read it, Kayleigh, because I'm all over the place. Line balls, the rats going well in. Chase on here. Chase on between me, her pair. Mary Gregory has her pair. Mary. So hit well across there by uh, Neve. Neve. Right. Out. Oh, good full out there. So we're ahead again. Here's Kayla. Kayla has it. Kayla takes a good coup. Oh, and, uh, got a free out. Very welcome free. 21 yards out. There's Faye beside me. Uh, uh, right, and who's coming out? I'll take this 
Oh yeah, it's Ellie. Ellie coming out the gate. Just about 21 yards out, 15 yards in from the side end. Her, her grandfather, Jim, telling her where to strike this one. Probably aim for the wing. And it goes right down the middle, so obviously it wasn't right. But uh, Aimer, Jessica, Jessica on her own. Jessica, Jessica, 20 yards, 15 yards out. Takes on another few steps. Jessica, turns. Jessica, turns. Heartwarming stuff. No, oh geez, water break. Come on, guys, you want to get it? Uh, taken by the uh, Raptors goalkeeper. So we're uh, scoreline at the minute is 3.13 to 3 points. So right now, well ahead, I see the rest of the panel warming up here on the side end. So I expect that they'll be into the foray very shortly. And, uh, uh, Great, great commitment there from the right now guards again. No pullback whatsoever. Just keep it all. We got Leanne, we did travel a bit, but that keep saying Leanne, but you're a teamer. But they're very like. So now, the referees, about five yards out. Uh, taken, well scored. Can't believe it. Yeah, it down. Uh, Far side there, uh, Aveen Byrne, Aveen Byrne has good long strike. Striking it from the Rad Nordars is excellent. And, and so many of them can strike off both left and right. And Tara has left and right. Inside, inside to uh, Aimer. Aimer doesn't come up for her. Grass is a bit long out there. But she has Jessica. Aimer still has it. Aimer turns. Okay. Ah, yes. Would you believe it? Uh, Aimer falls. Yeah. Definitely got the right to say. So, uh, goal there for, for Radnor. Uh, okay, about to bring a couple of people on now, in fairness. Every area deserves a run, but all tried hard, and that was uh, a little bit, I would say, over the top there, Laura. But anyway, be, Larry wouldn't have been known to spare it when he was playing himself, so a uh, ball drops in 21 yards out. Oh, and it's always cleared by Neil. Being a whole head comes across. Off her left. So goes out. And uh, that one early on the book and all that. Four, Radnor, Garris, Jane Kennedy, David Orr, Roshan, Murphy, Ella Barn, all coming into the play now. Mad for uh, action. So great to see them getting onto the field now. They've contributed magnificently to this lead of uh, three, four, fourteen to three. In fairness, they put in the same as everybody. So out comes, and that was well blocked uh, down there. I think that was a jam that hit that one. Now, down we go. Battle here on the sideline. Laura Summers. Heavy schmozzle down there. Solo, and there she goes. Uh, she got a little bit of a and she goes again, gets a nod, and uh, ball is out. If we could get a ball. 
So the day held up really well. The sod is good, great condition. Um, a big crowd here for for Camogie uh, uh, final. It's fantastic to see the way the girls have been uh, supported here, and the big crowd here from uh, Enniscarthy as well, because the Raps are on a, a roll. They're winning all around them at the adult level anyway. So, but here it is on the Camogie level. Uh, girls are about to claim a, a title here. And all oh. I'm not sure who that hit, but I think it was Mary Gregory. Mary Gregory got hit with the ball, and then the ref gave the free against her. Anyway, I didn't check to see if she was okay or anything, but she thought Mary is she's, uh, she's hardy out, same as her brothers. So, uh, three to the rafts, 45 metres out, taken, grabbed on the inside. Out comes uh, Adrian Byrne. Ball got away from her this time. Again, again, both of them. Come on, Mary, that's it. Carry it with you. That was Mary. Mary being encouraged. Hey, go on, Mary. And Mary goes, so she carries it. And she goes, so going at the nose really this time. Mary Gregory herself is going to take this one. Oh, it's your ball. Oh, oh it's your ball. Oh, you hit it off her heart. Sun down in her eyes there. So we say Lara, it's Laura. And now we have uh, other stairs. Evening Burn reverses up the field. She's anyway tall to get the ball up. She's uh, Hello, Mary. Uh, after a bit of encouragement from the Red Newer crowd, he, he eventually finds uh, North Leinster. So a free in to Red Newer to be taken by. Cleena Bullihan, captain, captain. Uh, they fall in. Might land in for Tara. Young ball had in her. Cleena tips the ball ahead. Uh, back in again. Cleena back to the field. Cleena, you have it, Cleena! Cleena, you Roshi Murphy. Roshi Murphy is after it. And uh, there's uh, some little bit of a free there. So, not sure who wants to take this one, but. Set her half back. About uh, to take this one. And out here, wonderful sight. See the windmills in the, the background. Uh, she doesn't hit it all that well, but it's going to. Rand, Kayla, Levine, passes the ball out. Ella, Aaron has it. There's a bit of encouragement as well to keep going up the field, but anyway, 
free in to grabs just just beyond midfield. So what a great day here, the 17th of October 2021 for these girls to uh, take home an under 16 uh, county championship title. Having, uh, I suppose, earned it the hard way to beat Owler by 17 or 18 points in the semi-final. And to put in another good performance today. Great. Magnificent save there from Ellie. Uh, oh, jeez. Nice. Anyway, uh, not a word from uh, Mary for a chop there from the Raps player. So, we have Amber and Faye here on the sideline ready to run in now as soon as this is struck. Uh, uh, okay, back with the play. Russian gets in there for a tackle, keeps the ball out, goes at her again. Uh, AB boots as well, gets her shoulder there, goes back again, gives her uh, a bit of an old sandwich job there between, uh, I think it was uh, Mary and AB. So, that please uh, trying to hurry up to uh, get the ball down the field. Uh, goes a little bit shorter, but Sayan, uh, uh, Ema, uh, well played, well played Laura. In the nine, solo run, in, chased all the way by Kiva. Still going, still going, has a shot, I would say by Neil. Uh, still on the 21 yard line, but uh, it's another situation that right now have under control. Kiva uh, out with this one. Gonna fall nicely. Karima takes it. Anna Solo. Okay, make him down. Keep going. The south line will keep going in. Keep going. Turns. Lobs the ball in. Hara plays it on the hole. Then plays it back out. Out. And still goes. Pulls again. And Hara goes again. And still. She's still after. That's there going down the field. Team after uh, between the whole Adams and the Stafford again. Can't be team effort. Turns it in. And blocked again. Oh, Mary. Uh, yeah, this man is a fair man for putting sticks with the looks of the point. Great. Great momentum there in his right arm, isn't he? <laughs> I wonder if he'd be any good on an axe. Anyway, three into the wraps. I make it. No. A couple of minutes to go. Again, it falls low. Hard, hard for the reps to keep going because uh, of the lead that's against them. Number seven tries to get the ball in. It's a very corner. Number 12. Lisa's roaring. Lisa going at her in. Number 10 has the ball. Danger woman. Oh, wonderful save there by Ellie again. Again, so two, two good goal papers on the field today. Shoots again, and uh, that one has gone wide. And Colin Byrne down there signal that wide. So it looks a little bit uh, overhead here now at the minute. Looks could be rain coming, but it won't uh, spoil the atmosphere for these girls. Puck out far side of the field. And there goes the final hitter. Uh, congratulations and well done to the right new girl. Fantastic performance. Uh, I might try and add up the scores here when I get a minute on and see who got what. Okay. Okay, so anyway, they're going out there. Fair play to the people in charge of the team because uh, I said it a few times but I'm saying it again I never saw a team to fight with as much heart and as much determination as the girls did today uh, I've seen them two years ago and I can't believe how much they've come on but it just shows you what hard work determination and when you have the right people in charge of a team uh, the respect that the girls have for the mentors on this team whatever they were told and encouraged to do today that's exactly what they did so you had a combination of uh, we round out down a minute without <laughs> So they're starting to ring, sing Champiolis here and uh, just to say hard luck to the rapparees. Girls, they, they did their best but they came up against a better team on the day and uh, I'd have to say that the future of Camogie and Ratnure uh, looks very, very sound based on what I've seen here today.
while since we were in the middle of the field winning anything, so it's great that these cars are done. So now, all over the mountain. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Camogie County Board, I would like to thank Duffy Rovers here for the use of their pitch. I'd like to thank Garod, the referee, and his umpires. And I'd like to thank the parents of both teams <coughs> for bringing us to all the training sessions and all the other matches up through the year. Um, it's not easy losing on a on a final day, but at least you're the second best team in the county. So I call on the winning captain to collect... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jessica scored 1-3, um, Emer scored um, 3 points, uh, Tara scored 1-4, uh, Avian scored a point and Sophie scored 1-1. One, one. Now I'm leaving out someone so I apologise now but I, I couldn't see half the time because uh, the money was away. Um, but I know we did score and um, I suppose you always say it's not, it's not who gets the scores, the fact that we get them. So we won on a scoreline of 4-13 to 4 points. So Congratulations again to all involved. If I've, I've made a hundred mistakes already, so maybe I'm after making another one, but that's me and that's the best I can do. So well done, girls. Look forward to seeing the video. <laughs> 